the first time we got Venom on film, it left a lot of people pissed and desiring more. Which of course inevitably led to a reboot featuring, well, Venom without Spider-Man. So now, why not take Venom from the other film that did feature Spider-Man that people didn't like, aka Spider-Man 3, and toss him into Venom 3, which is allegedly going to do exactly that as part of a giant multiverse story. So I'm just going to say this right out the gate. I don't believe this. And I do not specifically believe that these insiders and the scoopers actually know anything. How did they know this and sit on it by going, well, I didn't want to spoil it. But then now they're like, actually, I can confirm it. What they're doing is what everybody is doing with their own two eyes and their brain. They're looking at the pattern, which I explained in the last two videos. And they're saying there's got to be something here. So they're going out there claiming exclusive scoop and we know the details as they do with everything else and tricking gullible stupid people. That's what they're doing. So the latest rumor is Topher Grace's Venom will appear in Venom 3. And this is what Sony was teasing just like when they teased the live action Spider-Verse elements. Just like when they teased Spider-Man No Way Home with random disconnected clips on TikTok. This is what they're essentially doing, and that this is going to be one of the big spins on Venom 3, that it's a giant multiverse film, featuring possibly Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man and more. While that all sounds great, again, I don't trust these scoopers because we know they're liars. And if you look at people now keeping track of their scoops, most of them fall into the semi-reliable but don't trust anything they say, because their track record is so shoddy at best, so... Again, I don't mean to rain on anybody's parade that's celebrating because um, what we've seen recently in Hollywood, turns out all the hate for Topher Grace was misplaced and he was the best of that 70s show cast. Um, you know, everybody owes him an apology now. And yeah, he rightfully probably didn't deserve all the hate he got in relation to that show and Venom and all that. But this is a non-story in my opinion. Yes, they're all running with it. Everybody's saying, yes, it's confirmed. It's big breaking news. Sure, maybe it is. Maybe it is. That's all I'm trying to say. But don't build yourself upon it with these people that are, at best, 1 in 30 scoops accurate. And when they drop one scoop a day, every day for a year, yeah, they might get 12 right in a year. But they've also gotten how many others wrong, right? Like, over 300? Yeah, I don't trust that track record. I'm sorry. So... I know it's raining on some people's parade and I'm going to be very negative and oh, he's just hating. But I mean, how many times did you guys trust some of these same people that Dr. Doom was going to be in all these projects and Marvel Studios straight up said, no, he wasn't. We never even considered that.